Hi, welcome to what did I order from eBay? Now I ordered some packages and I kind of forgot what they are. Besides two of them, cause I got a little excited and opened them. And then I was like, oh wait, I wanted to film a video about this. So two of them are already open, but we're gonna act surprised anyways. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? And here, so like I said, I ordered some stuff from eBay. Let's uh, let's take a look. So I'm gonna start off with the two things that I already opened because I was a little too excited. So let's uh, let's do that one first. What is this? Mega Man X2 or Rockman X2? Uh, I paid I think like 35 bucks for it, which is not bad. It plays the same. And if you're wondering, hey, how do you play Japanese? Super Nintendo games in America. Well, I have a Retron 3 and it plays uh, Super Famicom. So it's really cool. It's pretty clean. Uh, there is a little discoloration, but overall it works. It's fun and it's awesome. In case you're wondering the reason why I got this instead of you know, the actual Mega Man X2. Did I say X2 earlier? Did I say X3? Anywho, uh, the reason why I got the Japanese version is I saved like 45 bucks because the Japanese X2 is like 100-ish. So I was like, I'll just get it. I'll just, I'll just get the Super Famicom one. So that's what I did. Now for item number two, it's a VHS and that is Ghost Rider. So uh, I've talked about this before on this channel. It's a really good show, very underrated kid show. Like I said, very underrated. It's about a group of kids who try to solve mysteries throughout like the Bronx or Manhattan, New York City, wherever they live. And they have the help of a ghost who writes to them. So it's like one of those learning shows, but it's actually really good. And fun fact, Samuel Jackson's in it. So that's cool. Yeah, I paid about three bucks for that. Uh, I would like the whole, like the whole series on VHS, cause that'd be dope. But unfortunately they are somewhat expensive. Like it's like $3, <laughs> but uh, a lot of them go for like 10 or so. So I was lucky to get that for three bucks. All right, now on to the stuff that I haven't opened. I pre-opened them, but I don't know what's in them. They are straight from Japan, so as you can see it says uh, Japan, so that's cool. Uh, let's see what this one is. Oh, I already know what it is. Okay. Uh, what does this say? Thank you for your continued help. I am a, I am Japanese who loves pork bone based ramen. Okay. Well, thank you, sir. So that's the seller that I bought it from. Pretty, pretty nifty. Any, any other cool little surprises? Nope. Oh, ho, ho, man. I'll just kind of sneak peek. Zelda. Oh, grab my box cutter. Cut this tape. Yes. Yes. Ugh. Ugh. Get out of here. Oh, man. This is so... Nice looking. Here it is. Ocarina of Time. The Japanese version. And according to this, Ocarina of Time is an RPG. So that's cool. Let's, let's unbox it. Yo, this is like super complete too. Set the box off to the side. Here is the game. So that's what it looks like. It's silver and black. It looks dope AF. Dope AF. And is, that what, is that what kids say? So it's in really good shape though. It even comes with a little tray and it says N64. Well, Nintendo 64. It has like this a booklet to where you can write your songs in. That's, it's just awesome. That is freaking dope. Uh, it has this. Whatever this is, like product, whatever. It, it seriously has all the paperwork. It even comes with the stickers for your controller. That's awesome. Um, has a little advertisement. Oh, for uh, the, what is it? This game. And of course, the manual. So you're probably wondering, hey, why did you get the Japanese version of Ocarina of Time? Personally, I think it looks dope. It looks awesome. Plus, Ocarina of Time is like my favorite game. So, figured why not get it? It was super cheap. I paid $8 for it. So, I'm not gonna complain. A complete inbox Zelda for eight bucks. All right, come on. Oh, 
Uh, look who I have. I have a Lola. Hi guys, my name is Lola. I'm so cute and adorable. All right, down. Next box is from Japan as well. Cover my address so you guys can see from Japan. Now this came with two little nifty surprises. These are uh, like these Pokemon stickers, I'm assuming. Pretty dope, not gonna lie. Oh, Zelda, by the way, I didn't pay $8. I paid, I think like 14 and four. Just, just clear that up. But this came with some JDM, Japanese newspaper, sweet. Ooh, 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 ooh. Woohoo, okay. This, I know for a fact I paid only like eight bucks for. It's crazy, cause I actually, I was bidding on one the, the day before, just cart only for Super Famicom. And it sold for five bucks. I was like, oh man, all right. Then I saw this and I only paid eight. And that is Chrono Trigger, complete inbox. Chrono Trigger. Now, I can't play it because, you know, it's in Japanese. Is there anything else in there? Nope. Set that to the side. But it's a very clean cart. Very clean. I was informed, though, that if I get a Retron 5, I can actually load translations in, which I might just do that. And here's the manual. Pretty dope. I don't know what any of it says, but... I might just have to get me a Retron 5, this way I can play this. So eight bucks for a complete inbox, Chrono Trigger. I'm not gonna complain whatsoever. Oh, hi, Lola. Lola's on my bed. So the box art looks pretty cool. I just, I love it. So only eight bucks. Well, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to follow me, but if you guys want to follow me on social media, you can. Links are down below, as well as my Patreon. It's as awesome as Dana Smith. She helps support me on Patreon. You can too for as little as a dollar a month. And with that being said, you guys rock. Stay rad. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.